This is an IB physics video for higher level IB students studying Unit 12. It's an introduction to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle with love at physics. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle simply states that it is impossible It is impossible to know the position and momentum of a particle simultaneously. You can't know its position and momentum very precisely, perfectly precisely at the same time. Now it helps to think about position and momentum in the following way. A particle has a very specific position. It is somewhere in space. Position is important. It is where the particle can be found, and it is very specific. So position is a, a particle property. A wave is transferring energy of some sort from one place to another, and a wave is not a specific position. It is spread out over an area of space. A wave, however, definitely has momentum, because we know that the wavelength of a wave is Planck's constant over its momentum, and that's de Broglie's wavelength. So momentum is very much a wave property. So what Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is basically saying is that it is impossible to make something be a particle and a wave at the same time. Uh, a good way to try and imagine this uncertainty principle is if you imagine trying to predict when the next raindrop will fall in a puddle. If you're trying to say the next raindrop will fall exactly there, you have to wait a long time for it to happen. So your uncertainty in the time that the raindrop is going to take to land there is quite large. However, if you increase the area and you say the next raindrop is going to fall in this area, then you don't need to be so uncertain about the time. It's going to happen in a shorter amount of time, but you're more uncertain about the area. If you're even more uncertain and we say the next raindrop will fall somewhere on this screen, then that's a much larger uncertainty in the area, but the amount of time we have to wait for that to happen is very, very small. Now, if we try and put some mathematics into this, we could say that the uncertainty of the time multiplied by the uncertainty of the area gives us some sort of constant, let's say k. Now, what that means is if we increase the uncertainty of the time, we're waiting for a longer time, we can be more certain about the area. We can have a smaller area that we look for the next raindrop. If we look in a bigger area, we're less certain about the time. So the larger the uncertainty of the area, the smaller the uncertainty of the time. Over a bigger area, we can be more sure that it'll happen quicker. Now, Heisenberg did the same thing for his uncertainty principle relating to particles and waves. And he said that the uncertainty in the momentum times the uncertainty in the position of that particle cannot be more than h, which is Planck's constant, over 4 pi. That is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Now he went a step further and he also said that if you work out the units of momentum times by position, then you get joule seconds. And the, the other two pair of variables with the units joule seconds are energy and time. And so they have the same uncertainty principle. Uncertainty of energy times the uncertainty of time is h over 4 pi. That is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This was a Love at Physics video introducing Heisenberg's uncertainty principle for Unit 12 of Higher Level IB. If you liked it, you can subscribe.